the Kentucky Blues. I'm Rebecca Lee. I'm Jason Horton. And this is Ghost Town. Ghost Town on video. Yeah. We're, we're giving this a shot. It's a work in progress. Uh huh. Make sure you subscribe. We'll do more of these. It's really helpful. And we have probably at least 150 episodes wherever you find podcasts. There's links below. Absolutely. Listen. Enjoy. Now that our faces have been revealed yeah. to the public. Now's the best time to reveal our faces, I think. Yeah, everyone's know. clamoring for them. So. Yeah, so here's me in a sweatshirt. Yeah, it's, you know, we're in, in, into the, we're deep into quarantine. Deep, deep, deep. That's and right. And by quarantine, I mean also a revolution on top of quarantine. It's yeah. a, it's a real um, time of change. Yeah, it's an interesting time. Mm -hmm. And with that, we're going to do, for us, a pretty light one. Yeah, definitely. Even though it's a little sad. Yeah, well, sad. again, for us, that's pretty par for the course, yeah. I think. A little sadness, mm -hmm. a little failure. A couple no, no. ghost town, this feels... Uh, Lighter, lighter. Yeah, this is light. We can go pretty dark if you let us. Don't let us. Don't let us. <laughs> well, right now we're gonna go to Kentucky. Love it. The blue people of Kentucky, blue fugate. Is it fugate or fugate? Uh, fugate. I'm not sure actually. Fugate. I'm gonna say fugate. We're gonna go with fugate. For yeah, this. but if we're wrong, let us know. Yeah. In a, a positive, in a kind uplifting of way. way. Yeah. But this was a pretty interesting one. We're gonna go back really to the early 1800s. Uh, Martin Fugit, mm -hmm. Fugit was what we're going with. He mm -hmm. is a French orphan. Wow. And he settled in the Troublesome Creek area of Kentucky, which I think is one of the coolest names. Troublesome Creek. So he settled there in 1820 and he married Elizabeth Smith, mm -hmm. which became a perfect storm genetically mm -hmm. and probably something very rare and I, I don't know one in I don't know what chance of them getting together in their genes, mm -hmm. their recessive genes, or the genes they had made blue offspring. Yeah. And when you say blue, and I'm, we'll put some pictures up, it's, it's like a blue. Like, it's not even like, I think, it's like a translucent, pale blue. Blue, so it's not like Blue Man Group style blue, but it's still like but it's close. It's obvious. It's close. It's pretty I, obvious. I saw some photos, and it's even the the whites of the eyes are yeah. are are blue. And four of the seven children, and seven children, four to seven. That's a four lot. Four to seven. And in this part of Kentucky at this time, not a lot of infrastructure, mm -hmm. not a lot of roads, not a lot of ways for people to get out or come in. So you're going to get a lot of inbreeding. There's you know, railroads wouldn't show up till, you know, early 1900s. Yeah. Not a lot of reason to leave or know where to go and really no reason for people to show up. So they had a pretty, you know, they had their Slim spot. They had their, they had their spot. Yeah. Yeah. You're just, you're kind of sequestered away. Yeah. And well, they found out and, you know, in a way where it's kind of like, yeah, everyone kind of looks similar. They're mm -hmm. all blue. Even, yeah. I think, in this specific place in Kentucky, yeah. like, to add insult to injury, it's like, this is not your fault that you have this recessive condition, but you're already in a small pool of people. The only people you can really commiserate with are your siblings. We're like, yeah, this is fucked. And people know or aware that you're inbreeding. Yeah. So that's that's a given, because why? It's not it's something you caught. It's not something that you got. So yeah. that, I think that was tough for the descendants mm -hmm. of the... Fugits. Mm -hmm. So where does it come from? What is it? It's an excessive amount of methemoglobin. Yeah. Which you all know what that is, right? Right. Everyone knows Obviously, it is. everyone's like, yeah, next, yeah. we got it. It is a non-functional, I'm reading this, non-functional blue version of healthy red hemoglobin protein that carries oxygen. Mm -hmm. In most Caucasians, the red hemoglobin of the blood in their bodies shows to their skin, giving it a pink tint. Yeah. So it's, you get a little more of that if you're like, you know. Yeah, when you're flushed, like when you're yeah, working out, yeah, the blood vessels, uh, expand and so you see that but it would be blue and change of that to blue pink a baby in eggshell blue mm -hmm. well, a beautiful blue yeah. i would say i'll say it beautiful hematologist madison cowan the third started studying it studying them mm -hmm. how which has got to be pretty fascinating if hemoglobin is your number one thing yeah you know that's your uh that's your jam yeah and it's like great this is an interesting very rare you don't really see this happen too much now as far as I know and they gave them uh, methyl blue tabs mm -hmm. 
to suppress that. From what I gather, it wasn't like there was a lot of sickness that came with it. It's not like their yeah. blue skin brought anything else really, but unfortunately, you know. Like uh, being social just, pariahs? Yes, and, 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 and such. So that's gotta be tough. And the last case was Ben Stacy. In 1975, he was born. I think he did like pretty much like fingernails, so oh, wow. it was like traced. He had traces of it, and he was the, as far as I know, the last one. Wow. Now, do you remember a guy? It's like 2008. He was on the Today Show. He was also blue. No, I don't. Have he, I repressed it? Perhaps. He for 10 years took colloidal silver for his dermatitis. Yes. Yeah. Like well, this is when people were talking about silver because silver was also a thing that supplements had a lot of like yeah, oh, colloidal, yeah i remember worked at, working mm -hmm. at health food stores and i was like i need colloidal silver yeah and i think this dude took excessive amounts of it and if you want to make a connection to another episode our episode the toxic lady which i think mm -hmm. you'll like i'll link the youtube version yeah this is your jam you're gonna be double one of one of the excited. episodes that has uh people have really enjoyed from us and you know other people mm -hmm. is the case of the toxic lady where mm -hmm. you know this woman was showed up at the hospital and and everyone just started dropping around. Yeah. They didn't know why. Um, I'm not going to tell you why. I'll have to listen to the episode. Mm -hmm. But there are some connections as a hint. So we, yeah. we suggest pairing this episode with that episode. Yeah. How about you You have an amuse-bouche of this, then you get straight into Toxic Lady, then maybe that Canadian bus one. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Just get into the murders. Yeah, just get into it and we're going to do more. And if you have suggestions playlist. for future episodes, we're still kind of working out the... We're just trying these out. We did a live one with the episode update, so we're just trying these out. Yeah, let me know if I should get bangs or not. First yeah. of all, you're, you're at that level yet? Are you at the bangs level yet? I'm flirting. Have you ever had bangs? No, fuck no. Okay. Oh, this bone structure? No, hide it. Hide it with long hair. Yeah. All right. 